How is it going, my beautiful viewers, and welcome back to Influxus Silence of the Deep. So, we played this game, um, oh my god, has it been that long already? A while ago. And back then, you know, it had its share of issues, had its share of problems, but I could definitely see the potential for it. Now, many months later, the developer actually reached back out to me, and it kind of went something like this. Hey, so thank you so much for playing the game back when you did, it's received a whole bunch of new updates since then, maybe you'd want to check it out again? And I went. And so here we are. Again, just to remind you, as far as I know, this is a single developer working on this game, purely as a passion project, and uh, we'll see if it's changed a bunch. I also discovered a funny bug, if you keep clicking options, you can actually just make the options menu go to oblivion. But anyways, let's just play. Ooh, look at that. Now see, that looks... that looks freaking sick. Hello. So I've been told there are quite a few changes, so we'll see just how different it is. Whoa, okay. Hi. Um, I don't know why, it seems like my frame rate is pretty low. I'm kind of running this on the beastly PC, but let me see if I can fix that. Oh, hello. What, 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 what? um, hi? Oh, look at that. Now, yeah, this definitely does look very different from what it looked like last time. It's definitely much more colorful, and I'm in the water. New biome discovered, the Sun Reef. So I have a health, I have what it, I'm guessing is food, and we have fish, look at that! Hi! You look like... Oh my god, they even spin! Oh, that's so freaking cute! Hi, robot, I remember you from last time. Alright, so I also have what I'm guessing is energy. Maybe I need to replenish that by, like, sleeping or, or eating, I'm sure we'll figure it out. The door is a... A little problematic. Picked up some charge. Man, I could really use some of that right now. I'm recording this at like 4 a.m. A storage box. Oh, okay. See, this menu I still really like. I still think it looks awesome. I think it's been tweaked a little bit. Okay, so I'm guessing these are just places. These are like my Minecraft chests where I can store my stuff. Definitely interesting to see that it's kind of dialed back on the story at the beginning. Well, lovely, lovely, lovely. Beautiful base out here. Um, I kind of just want to start by exploring because I, you know, last time this game started out so story heavy that this time I'm not really sure what to do. There's not a whole lot of story to go off of. So let's see. We have scrap metal, scrap metal, and scrap metal, my favorite. There's a bit of sodium, I swear that looks exactly like the model from Subnautica. Um, it might not be, I don't want to throw shade. Fulvus muffin? Uh, sure, I like muffins. I'm more of a cupcake kind of guy though. Okay, so here are some um, some structural parts. So I'm guessing um, my, I saw my ship back there, maybe I crashed on this planet or something? I'm getting a lot of scrap metal. For some reason, again, some of it stacks, some of it doesn't. Maybe it's like different types or different sizes. Ah, and here we are underwater. Now see, this is something I understand. I'm guessing that at the top is our oxygen. Hi, little fish. Are you friendly? It's a raw crow fish. Doesn't look much like a crow, but it definitely looks raw. So last time, one of the pieces of feedback I gave, uh, I think, was just that it would be lovely to see more uh, more biomes, and I definitely think that has been implemented. I mean, look at this. This looks significantly nicer than how we did last time. Now, I do also remember, um, and I still have to say that th that is the case, that going down, it feels a little too slow. Like, I'm not sure if I'm meant to be exploring these places, because it seems like I have enough oxygen for it. But if that's the case, I would just maybe make going down a little faster. Going up is actually much nicer, but going down, it takes a little while. One thing I already pointed out in this game last time was that what I was happy about was its use of verticality in biomes. I love this stuff when you have like pillars rising all the way up to the surface. That's awesome. Whoa, there's more islands. Holy crap, no kidding that the map has expanded. Let's go check it out. I was also told that there are hostile creatures out in the water. Let's keep an eye out for those because I don't really want to be eaten. By the way, those shoals of fish are freaking lovely. Look, mom, top of the world. Okay, well, there isn't much out here. So what I would recommend we do is let's kind of head back to the mainland, see if we can find something fun around there. I do think we need like a satisfying splash sound when you hit the water. That would definitely be a lovely addition. A bit of a lighting change, I see. So this is our um, kelp forest, I'm guessing. I mean, it looks lovely. Again, I, I think the lighting is a little too flat, but that's a minor detail. Overall, the plants look awesome. I got some copper, that's nice. Oh, this is very nice. Love the touches on the um, on the surface. I also really wish there was a button to just go straight down. The way spacebar takes you right up, wish there was a button I could just hold to go straight down, like control or C or something. Oh, look at that, it's the equivalent of a brain coral, I suppose. All right, so far so good, no hostile creatures. 
I feel like I've been collecting materials for a little bit here. Um, I'm probably soon going to travel back to the crafting table, see if I can actually make anything. Look at that, we have one, two, two moons in the sky. That's a pretty nice skybox too. A new biome enters the mix, look at that. The Sun Bamboo Forest. Oh, this looks lovely actually. Oh my god, are those freaking bones? Yikes, that's... You know, that's a really big thing down there. Whatever we got here. Scatter fragment. Heck yeah. I don't know how many fragments I need for a scatter, but I'll just take them all. Well, I believe I found the edge of the world. That's something. You know, I'm more of an ocean pickle man myself, but I'll settle for a sea cucumber. <laughs> Why not? If you guys think my jokes are particularly bad today, it's probably sleep deprivation. Uh, I'm on my last week of school, literally graduating next week. Well, let's just say I haven't been sleeping a whole lot. Been drinking a lot of coffee and energy drinks though, that's for sure. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Okay, I found something very sick. Okay, let's, I'm gonna go down there in just a moment. Wait, why am I getting hurt? <gasps> oh, it's because I'm hungry. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Dang. Jesus, I died of hunger freaking fast. Oh, well, this is new. Just kind of circled the island a little bit and found this place. Oh no, it doesn't have any stuff in there. Oh, does that mean I have to find the blueprints for it first? I mean, that would make sense, I suppose. Oh, hello. A storage box. Oh, lovely. Let me just take all of it, I guess. Should probably try hunting more fish and... Whoa, look at those! Ah, oh, these are so cool! They're like one of the rays... Whoa, hello. Also a new biome, it, it seems to be. We discovered the sparse plateau. Okay, well, it is certainly sparse. You know, I'm not gonna lie, there hasn't been a lot of blueprints to find, as far as I can see, at least. What's that sound? Whoa! Okay, I'm getting hunted! Holy crap! What are you? Uh, you guys are gonna lose interest for sure. They sound like they're burping. I I take that as them not liking me. Uh, it's just, just a guess. Oh, they are freaking persistent. Okay. But this one is just not giving up, holy crap. Now, you know, I'm not gonna lie, the game definitely looks a lot better than it did before. But it's funny because last time we played, I thought there was a little bit of too much exposition at the start. And in this version, it seems like pretty much all of that was removed. Now, I would actually appreciate a little bit more direction maybe here at the start, just because it's it's kind of difficult to just jump into it. And But you know, I think if you can get that, you could definitely get pretty far with this. Elastic fibers. Now, how do you get elastic fibers is my question. So I can't craft though. Oh, there we go, elastic fibers. Kelp sample. Okay, well, I might not have any kelp sample on me, but I think I should be able to get some. Okay there, kelp forest. Let's get some samples. Okay, well, grabbing does not seem to be working. Okay, well, I haven't really been able to get any samples from these things yet. I guess no kelp samples for me though. No idea how to get any. Found this little path here. Figured I might as well explore it. Maybe we'll find something cool up here. Synthetic glider. Heck yeah. There's also a ton of lore here, by the way, which you can read if you want to. I mean, the text is very small, and I'm not gonna do it now. But if I was playing just by myself without recording, I'd definitely give it a read. <gasps> oh, never mind. I take everything back. There's a freaking unicorn. Hello there, friends. Hi. That's a cool freaking creature. It's honestly hard to say if you're meant to go up here or not. I've just been kind of skyriming my way up the mountain. Oh, some classified. Neptune EXO. No idea what Neptune EXO is, but sounds shady. I really wish there was an easier way to track progress on blueprints. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really sure what to do at this point. Um, I don't know how to gather materials, at least not specific ones that I need for the stuff that I want to craft. So I suppose let's just craft whatever we can. You know, go on from there. And Did this fish just bury itself? No clue how to find gold. Hey, look at that, we can actually get a flashlight. Scrap metal, metal charge and wires. Oh, heck yeah, let's do it. How do I assign you? Look at that, just that easy. Love it when a game just works the way you expect it to work. I'm just gonna pick a direction and head in it. I've never gone this way, so I'll just try to kind of head in this general direction and maybe find something new. Well, look at that. It's more of that giant freaking skeleton. And yeah, look at this. Hello, hello, hello. This looks brand new. Whoa, holy crap. This looks so sick. Man, I gotta say, if nothing else, like, really good job on the biomes. They do actually look sick. Oh no, oh boy, ah, uh, that's not good. I boxed myself in, 10 seconds of oxygen. Oh boy, that's, that's gonna be tight. Hopefully I don't die the instant my oxygen runs out. Wow, talk about cutting it close, huh? Yeah, no, this biome is awesome for sure. 
really like it. Also, look at these funky creatures. You know, at least this game doesn't have a void. Oh, look at that. I, uh, I've equipped the flashlight. Oh, that's what's using the power in the bottom right corner. Oh boy. Oh, okay, you are not friendly. Holy crap. Is that the freaking research specimen Theta right there? Oh, okay. You know what? Don't look back. Don't look back is the advice. Okay, oh, it left me alone. Thank goodness. Oh boy, this is not a good place to be. Yeah, why did I think coming to the edges of the map was a good idea? And didn't learn anything in my hundreds of hours of Subnautica. Now, this looks like the type of biome to house gold. I'm just gonna say it. Um, you know, not to come off as superficial or anything, but this just looks like the type of biome that would have gold. I, I don't know what I got. Oh my god, what happened to my oxygen? Where did it go? Oh boy, okay, well, that's a rip. Um, uh, come on, come on, I'm so freaking close, I can't die now. Oh my god, I made it. <sighs> Holy crap, okay. Nice. I didn't even get gold for it, so uh, I'm a little upset. It's freaking copper, man. Gold is non-existent in this game. It's a lie. <laughs> the gold is a lie. Okay, you know what? I don't care that I'm gonna drown. I want to see what's down here. Wow. How do you even get that far? It looks awesome. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna make it out of this one. But what a cool bio. Okay, so this is how you can cook food. You can just gather the fish, use them with sodium, and just get some meals out of it, which is actually pretty freaking neat. Okay, so I have all these fragments, how do I use them? I don't really know what to do with the fragments, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Maybe we should just kinda head out and see if there is some giant monster waiting somewhere out in the, uh, in the abyss. Okay, well, let's see how, how far and deep this goes. Uh, I believe I've discovered the abyss. Uh, this is... holy crap, yeah, this goes deep. Look how freaking deep that goes. At least the water doesn't get pitch black like it does in Subnautica. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm gonna go back up to the surface, get as much oxygen as I can, and then we're just gonna go down and see how far I can go before I drown. <laughs> if there is something big out here, that's gonna eat me. Well, now's my time to find out. Oh, look at that, there is actually geometry down here. I'm gonna guess that you're not supposed to go down here, but that has never stopped me before. My goodness, okay, now see, this will be amazing. Once all of these places are made into actual biomes, yeah. This will be sick. And I am about to drown, so uh, I'll see you on the other side, friends. Alright, fellas, I think that's a pretty good place to cap it off. I'm sorry I really haven't been able to show you much of the game. Unfortunately, it seems that the progression in this one is just really freaking slow. But here's my immediate honest opinion. Um, oh, actually, look at that. First out, it's absolutely clear how much effort is being put into this, right? I can definitely see upgrades from last time. It looks much nicer, it feels much nicer, and... Did I tell you guys, there are even supposed to be like boats and submarines in now, or at least one of each. And given how slow the progression has been uh, so far, I'd imagine that would probably take you hours to get to. But nevertheless, they are in the game. The biomes that have been made here truly look incredible, like they're actually very well made. Again, we're talking one-man effort here, so it looks very nice. I do wish some more guidance was provided to the player at the very beginning, just to maybe make it clear which direction to head at the start, maybe some small UI prompts and how to gather materials, because I still haven't figured out how to get kelp samples. And I think with that, we're gonna be in business with this game. Anyways, I would highly encourage you guys to go out there and try this game out. It's completely free on Steam. It's not like a huge download or anything, so you can just literally give it a try. You know, maybe one afternoon coming home from work or school. Fire it up and see what you think. Maybe you'll be able to let me know down in the comments how to get kelp samples, so I can actually craft fins for myself next time. Anyways, with that, on this deserted island and in fluxes, I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. And if you would like to see more of this game, or if you have any feedback for the developer, make sure to leave that down in the comments below. Remember, be respectful and try to provide constructive criticism. I know for a fact that this developer definitely does read the comments and replies, so make sure to leave some stuff down there if you would like them to see it and maybe give some ideas for what the game could implement next. And with that, I'll see you all in whatever next video I make. Bye-bye.